Hi everyone and welcome back to ESC Extra. As you already know, we are getting closer to the 2020 Junior Eurovision Song Contest. And for today, we are going to have one of those people that will be representing their country. And I have Alexander Balobanov, sorry if I mispronounced that, from Ukraine. How are you, Alexander? Hello, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing okay. Just as an, a, an icebreaker before we begin, you know how your song is called Vitgevai Open Up? Yeah. Um, did the Eurovision Song Contest inspire it somehow? Because the slogan for the contest for this year and next year is Open Up. <laughs> Or is that just a yeah? So we uh, we noticed it uh, only after we wrote it. So it wasn't inspired by uh, adult <laughs> Eurovision, but uh, we just uh, got it, got it that our uh, that our name is the same uh, after we re released it. So. so it's just a bonus, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, then. So. Uh, before we talk about your participation, let's get to know you a bit more. Um, can I ask you, how would your friends describe you in three words? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not one of my friends, <laughs> uh, so it would be harder. Uh, but I guess, I don't know, humble, or uh, honest, and uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't even know, maybe... Uh, Funny, maybe. <laughs> I mean, you are, you, well, you are those three, three characteristics and glad you mentioned those. <laughs> okay, um, all right, then uh, moving on as well. I mean, obviously you're mainly known for singing. Um, when obviously you're not, you know, giving us those amazing vocals, what do you do outside of singing? Do you have any hobbies at all? Yeah, I do. Actually, uh, I have some hobbies. Maybe uh, one of my main ones is uh, board games. Uh, so uh, I have a lot of them, about 25 or maybe more. And uh, I sometimes play them with my family, with my friends, and I'm very happy when someone agrees to play them with me. <laughs> uh, well, um, if, you, if you do end up having another video game session while I'm in Kiev, let me know and I, I'd want to okay. join you. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, moving I'll on to like, <laughs> okay, moving on to your artistic style. Um, if you were given a chance to have a duet with an artist of your choice, who would it be and why? Uh, have a what? A ah, duet, okay, I got you. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, it would be Susan from Germany. Uh, because uh, I already uh, known her before the contest. We know each other for a long time. And uh, of course, wouldn't mind to uh, sing with her. Okay. Well, let us know if you do work together on a track because we'd want to hear about it because it's a rarity to <laughs> junior year. It's a rarity to junior Eurovision acts work together on a track. It's either you work with someone from junior Eurovision who's participated in Eurovision, but not the same contest. So do let us know. Okay, I will call you. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. Well, let's move on to obviously participating at the 2020 Junior Vision Song Contest. You've participated twice before, but, and obviously the third time's a charm, but what made you want to participate again in the first place after already participating before? Uh, so yeah, um, I was in a uh, final of national selection two times before, and uh, actually uh, every time that I lost, uh, I was kind of uh, motivated and uh, moved because um, this uh, feeling uh, when you're lost but you were you were close and uh, uh, this feeling won't let you go and uh, you should just try again. So this year was my last try, so uh, I had nothing to lose. So you were just like, okay, one more and whatever yeah. happens and look, look where it got you. You finally got there. Yeah. All right then. So, um, cause since you've participated three times in total, I've got a tough question for you. Feel free to not answer it, 
out of all the three songs that you've submitted, do you have a favorite? Of course I do. <laughs> uh this year's one because uh obviously two of my previous one they were not so good that's why they're uh they didn't make it to a contest so uh this one is the greatest one and i like it more <laughs> okay um okay so now that you've won um obviously the con the structure of the contest is a bit different because of everything that's going on in the world when you found out that you've done it you've won, you're actually representing Ukraine at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. What was your first reaction? Uh, so uh, on that time, uh, we came back home uh, with my family and uh, we were just checking the news. And uh, this year's selection had a uh, system of voting. So there were uh, eight juries and, uh, um, and the like viewers voting so um each of them uh cost like i had a value of uh, one point so uh there was nine points at all uh and uh i had four of them and when we came back we just checked and uh we saw fifth jury voted for us and we were so happy we just screaming and uh lots of our all around although like uh the results of the uh People's voting weren't published uh, uh, yet. We already knew that we won. Okay, well, I mean, you must have been very, very ecstatic. It's like, oh my God, I've finally yeah. done it. Okay, uh, well, since winning, you've been a very, very busy young man. Um, very much so. You've even found time to record your very first professional music video, which, you've, which I read you filmed over, all over Kiev. Uh, I've got a couple of questions for you to that. What was the experience like to obviously film that video and um, really like the ending? I did not expect that. So if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. And second of all, for all the people who loves to travel and obviously yet to visit Kiev, where would you recommend that they should go on their first visit? Okay. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, the music video, I uh, previously, uh, we shot our uh, non-professional music videos just by ourselves on our camera. Uh, it was fun. Uh, and also, I took part in uh, TV series shooting, so I played a role uh, in this, like, in the movie making and uh, when we filmed this music video uh these two uh, these two things combined and uh at, as the result we got our music video that we shoot professionally with the huge theme uh they were very cool and uh the shootings were great we shoot we shot for two days uh we just uh ran around uh the kiev so it was nice um then about uh the end yes the ending was uh our key thing because uh the thing we expected is uh that the viewer should uh like watch it and then uh his reaction should be like what and uh our our uh target was to make him watch it again <laughs> yeah well uh, i think we well, lots of people <laughs> say me that yeah, it's like, I've been watching it over, like, okay, I've been trying to connect the dots. It's like, I don't know how, but I have to rewatch it over and over again. But that's what it is. No, I'll suggest two things. Uh, first is Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's uh, uh, the biggest tourist spot in the whole Ukraine. So uh, now, uh, like, it's not uh, so tragic, like... Uh, there uh we're still upset about it and uh we still uh remember about it but uh it's a uh like it's a place where you can go and you can feel uh how the nature uh, uh how nature is stronger than human being mm -hmm. and uh it's really cool to see and then uh in ikea uh, I would recommend you to watch, uh, not to watch, to uh, go to a historical center as uh, Padil mm -hmm. district. So there is a lot of uh, cool architecture here and uh, lots of great spots you can go to. So yeah, that's my mm -hmm. favorite place to go.
Okay, well, I'll check those out when I've actually worked when I can actually go to Kiev. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, obviously, the 2020 Junior Eurovision Song Contest is a different experience from everyone because usually everyone gets to go to the host city. I mean, every single participant. But obviously, on the night itself, we won't be in Warsaw. So, what was your reaction when, okay, you found that, you, that you've been selected, but you're not going to be in Poland on the 29th of November? Yeah. What was your reaction? So, at first, uh, we didn't know about, uh, like, the, uh, the way how uh, the contest is uh, going to be uh, going. Uh, so uh, when we knew about it, we were kind of upset because uh, uh, we won't, I won't be able to perform on a huge stage, uh, like meet other participants. But then uh, we just uh, thought it's, uh, it's good anyway because uh, we have a uh, possibility to uh, like do our record better. Uh, so, uh, and uh, anyway, uh, we've seen the Poland. Uh, because mm -hmm. we've been there for three days, uh, yeah. we already recorded our performance. So uh, it's not so bad as, as it seems <laughs> on first. Yeah, um, yeah, I was going to move on to that one, actually, because you were one of the countries who actually did go to Warsaw to record their performance. And I noticed on your Instagram that you've actually met at least some of the participants, well, of your fellow participants, which is what the contest is about. Like, uh, can I just ask, I mean, other than, I mean, you've mentioned Susan earlier, who you've met, have you talked to anyone else well, of your fellow competitors? Uh, yeah, so uh, in Poland, I met uh, uh, Chanel from Malta, Petr from Serbia, and Ala from Poland. So they're really cool guys. It was nice to uh, talk to them, to meet them uh, by person. And uh, also, uh, uh, except uh, this uh, participants that I met in Poland, I also uh, had live streams on Instagram with uh, some other participants. So um, I already spoke with almost everyone. So it's cool anyway. <laughs> so hopefully, I mean, hopefully you'd get to actually talk to each other, I mean, virtually at some point. Yeah. I hope <laughs> okay. next year we'll be able to meet each other. Yeah, hopefully so. Uh, I also wanted to ask as well, because you've went, because as we already mentioned, you've already recorded your performance. What was the experience like? Because I know that on Instagram, I've actually seen you, or w what you were wearing in your performance. And amongst other things. What was the experience like recording it? And is there anything you can tell us or are you just going to keep that as a surprise for us? So um, actually the stage is not so not so big uh, because uh, it's in the studio, but it's still really cool because there are screens and uh, uh, there is a possibility to uh, go on with the graphics. Uh, so uh, the only things that I can tell you that uh, I will be alone on stage and uh, that I will have uh, some item with me <laughs> holding it. Uh, so uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Uh, the rest of it you can see on 29th November. <laughs> oh my God, you're really keeping us in suspense here, Alexander. Well, I mean, we are looking forward to it, obviously. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I mean, it's been you've been on a quite the promotional trail now since you've obviously been announced as the uh, the representative for Ukraine. I just wanted to ask you um, up until now, how has your experience been being the representative for Ukraine? Uh, so uh, actually now we do a lot of PR actions like uh, other videos for Eurovision channels, interviews with. Uh, some uh, some uh, pages and publics. Uh, also, uh, we um, trying to uh, like promote and uh, ask people to vote because in Ukraine there is not so much audience and fan base for Eurovision. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're trying to uh, ask our people to vote for <laughs> for their country uh, or vote for someone at least. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but. 
oh, generally the experience is uh, wonderful now because uh, there are so much things going on around and uh, it's really magical. Okay, well, I, I'm, re I'm really hoping that you're enjoying your um, experience and maybe, you know, who knows, you might end up at the main Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, who knows? Okay, then, uh, I mean, obviously, n as well as meeting with uh, your fellow junior Eurovision participants, I also seen an on social media that you've actually met up with Sofia, who represented Ukraine last yeah. year. Um, I wanted to ask you, has she given you any advice at all on participating at this year's contest? Uh, so um, I I know Sofia for a long time, uh, as well as uh, Darina from 2018. Uh, they uh, we both had a uh, public uh, interviews or something, and uh, they always given me some advices and uh, helping me with this mm -hmm. uh, Eurovision thing. So uh, we're good friends for a long time. Okay. Um... Same as well, because you've actually met up with um, Goe, who was supposed to represent Ukraine this year, but obviously representing next year. What was the experience like of meeting up with them? Because obviously I checked on social media and you guys were singing each other's songs. And I actually uh, like yeah, those versions so, as well. Uh, yeah, so uh, about a week ago, uh, I met uh, guys from Goe. I know Taras for a long time, uh, but Kate, uh, I met her for the first time. Uh, so uh, we just uh, had a nice talk with them, uh, sang each other's songs, uh, and also they showed me uh, demos for the uh, possible songs for Eurovision. So they're really cool, and I hope them to win this year. <laughs> well, we'll see. We we. We don't mind going back to Ukraine. <laughs> okay, and one final thing, um, just to, so we start writing things up. Um, you've actually started a bit of a TikTok challenge with your song. Yeah, uh, Open did. up. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about it? Uh, so the key thing is uh, just uh, that uh, if you want to participate, you should just, uh, uh, film a video when, uh, where you're opening up something like you have a box here yeah and you can open it up open it up and uh, put up some like my song put up my song and, and just post it and you will be able to uh, win the merch win the cloth uh, like I can show you them now that I really like them they're really cool but uh, unfortunately uh, this challenge already ended uh, we already choose chose the winner if you mm -hmm. want to, of course, you can film me the video. I will like yeah. it and repost it. But uh, uh, the main challenge is ended, and uh, soon we're going to launch a guideway on my Instagram page, and uh, you can win a merch too. So mm -hmm. uh, if you're reviewing this and you want to get something or participate, do it. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, well, looking forward to finding out who the winner is, but I've been... It I've been really interested in the, in the um, challenges that everybody else have posted because there, you've literally motiva motivated everyone to get creative and creative they have been because it's like, I mean, I think I've watched Sophia's one where she was like opening up the fridge, opening up the door and Go Away was like, yeah. open up and like literally opening up the door. <laughs> yeah, it was the door to their studio. <laughs> okay, so we're looking forward to watching those as well. Okay, then. Um, okay, first of all, uh, well, well, finally, um, just to wrap things up with the interview, um, now that we're getting closer, is there anything you want to say to all the viewers who are watching us over ESC Extra? Maybe promote your entry and drum up some votes? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, hi, viewers. Uh, it was uh, very nice to have this interview. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so uh, I ask you all uh, to uh, watch the Junior Eurovision on 29th November and vote from 27th to 
to 29th November on the Junior Eurovision website. Vote for your favorites and uh, love you. Okay, well, I guess thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for taking the time to talk with me, Alexander. Really, really appreciate it. And to everyone who is watching, thank you very much for watching the video. If you like what you saw, then press the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to push the notification bell for uh, to be one of the first ones to find out uh, if we have a new video. Alexander, do you want to promote your socials so people can follow you? <laughs> okay, so um, I have my Instagram. Uh, I guess if you will be able to do it, it will appear here. And uh, I have also my YouTube channel where you can watch uh, uh, my interviews or something. Uh, there's a link with me and we'll be here. <laughs> uh, so uh, again, thanks everyone. Thanks you, Tenati. And uh, it was very nice to talk to you. Goodbye. Right. Bye. <laughs>